Hi, everybody. Chris Lawhead here with a lending update for uh, July 7th, 2020. So we're in quarter three. We've made it, everybody. Congrats. Um, so let me give you the lowdown here. First, let's start with conventional loans, owner-occupied. Uh, rates are incredibly low. Uh, the, the new, we call them overlays, the new requirements for borrowers have loosened up to some degree, specifically on reserve requirements for investors. Um, conventional loans are, are flying off the shelf <laughs> per se because the rates are incredibly low. So for those of you who haven't refied yet, um, you know, time to do it. Call, time to call me or call your, your trusted mortgage broker and make it happen. Uh, investor loans, conventional investor loans, those rates are normalizing as well. There was a, a larger than normal spread for the last few months between owner occupied rates and uh, investor rates. So those are normalizing as well. Still, we're seeing reserve requirements, um, extra reserve requirements for investors, meaning extra debt service sitting in some sort of liquid account. And that's all quite reasonable because, you know, there's there's been a significant portion of the population that has not paid their rent. So lenders want to make sure that you can weather those storms, investors. Um, we're still closing FHA loans, still closing VA loans, still closing conventional loans. Uh, Non-warrantable condos, those got, have went away for a bit. They're trickling back in. But those higher risk, we call them non-QM, non-qualified mortgages. Those higher mortgages, uh, excuse me, those uh, those weird, you know, non-qualified mortgages have made a comeback slowly. They're slowly coming back. Angel Oak, one of the biggest non-QM lenders in our pipeline, came back a while ago and they're doing pretty well. Um, Sprout Mortgage is coming back and, and doing all right. Uh, so we're seeing more of that for the non-warrantable products, for the, you know, the investor loans, the cash flow loans, the bank statement loans. Um they're just a, you know, they're just a little more expensive because they're hedging their bets, right? Lenders are hedging their bets. Um, the SBA lenders, again, I don't do SBA loans, but I borrow SBA money, and and uh, so and, and I know bankers who lend this, do those products, commercial products. They are swamped with applications. I mean, everybody knows that SBA money is cheap, and uh, but plenty of people are taking advantage of it. Jumbos. Jumbos have come back and they're starting to look halfway decent. Again, the, a jumbo is not one of the, the loans that I excel at, so I don't do those. I re always refer those out. And so I've referred a few out lately where the lenders were doing pretty well. I mean, not as not as good as, as you want them to be, but um, you know, if you can, you obviously want a conventional loan or a conforming loan over a, a jumbo loan. But uh, if, if you're in the jumbo world, they're back, they're out there. They, those went away for a few months. Those went away for probably three months um, this year, obviously because of the COVID stuff. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, yeah, I think, oh, home equity lines of credit, HELOCs. There's some really cheap HELOC money out there. Again, I'm not the best at, at HELOCs, so I don't lend that money. But I bought, again, I borrow that. So I'm a customer of that kind of debt. Um, the, the closing two loans at once, a first and a second, we call them closing concurrently. A lot of that is dried up. Um, some of these HELOCs take just too long to pull that off. If you need to close a conventional loan, say, on a purchase in 30, 35 days, and the HELOC takes 45, 50, it's just not going to work. So folks are closing with a first mortgage, and then they're getting a HELOC later. That's one of the techniques I've seen happen quite a bit. Um, so there's some cheap HELOC money, but concurrent closings, uh, there's just less lenders doing that. And the ones that are, at least that I keep track of, are moving too slow for us to, to, to be operating in that world because most of our buyers want to close in 30, 35, or maybe 40 days. So, um, so we're not seeing that as much. Uh, that should do. Um, like I said at the beginning, you know, the loans where I'm strong, conventional loans, we're doing a ton of refis, obviously, but we always put our purchases up to uh, up to the front of the line. There's still plenty of activity. We have plenty of, of buyers out there putting offers on houses. Um, we have a, a boatload of refis coming in because rates are incredibly low. So, again, if you haven't refied um, your 30 year fixed or your 20 or 15 year fixed, whether it's FHA, VA, conventional, whatever, you need to call me or um, call your trusted mortgage broker. All right. So there you have it, my friends. Enjoy. Take care.